Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step procedure of making this amigurumi cat. It is so cute and the little ones would love to play with it. So, let's get started. For this, I'm using 4 ply green and white color yarns and a crochet hook of size 3 mm. The head and body of the cat is worked as a single piece. Now begin with a magic ring. Draw the yarn out of the magic ring and make a chain 1. For the first row, make 8 single stitches into the loop. That's the first one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the 8th one. Now close the magic ring by pulling the tail end tightly so the stitches will come closer together and for our first row is completed. Now for the second row insert the hook into the first stitch and make two single stitches that's the first one and the second one to mark the beginning of each row I suggest you to use a stitch marker now I'm placing this in the first stitch so when I reach the stitch I can understand that the row is completed now for the second row perform an increase that is two single stitches into the same stitch throughout the row so by the end of the second row you will have total of 16 stitches now we are making the last increase this completes the second row we have reached the stitch marker so the second row is completed now for going on to the third row remove the stitch marker make one single stitch in that stitch now put the stitch marker back in place this is to mark the beginning of third row for third row the pattern is one single stitch and one increase so as already one single stitch is done this is an increase again make one single stitch and one increase in the next stitch continue this pattern of one single stitch and one increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point now I'm making the increase in the last stitch of the third row now the third row is completed Going on to the 4th row, remove the stitch marker. Now make 1 single stitch in next 2 stitches. That's 1 single stitch and the 2nd one. Don't forget to mark the beginning of the 4th row. This is very important. So after making 2 single stitches, here is an increase. That is 2 single stitches into the same stitch. Continue this pattern of two single stitches and an increase that's an increase another single stitch and the next single stitch now an increase so continue this pattern of two single stitches and an increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point now we are in the last stitch so closing of the fourth row with an increase that is two single stitches now fourth row is done you must have 32 stitches throughout now remove the stitch marker and make one single stitch in the next stitch put that stitch marker on the new stitch now for the fifth row make one single stitch in each stitch 
continue making one single stitch in each stitch until you reach the starting point now we are in the last stitch for fifth row by this you should have 32 stitches in the fifth row now remove the stitch marker and start making sixth row make one single stitch and put the stitch marker to mark the beginning of the sixth row now make another two single stitches that makes a total of three single stitches in sixth row now make an increase again make three single stitches that's one two and three now make an increase so continue this pattern of three single stitches and increase until you reach the starting point now we are making an increase that's the last stitch for sixth row we'll have a total of 40 stitches by the end of sixth row now we are making seventh row make one single stitch and put the stitch marker make one single stitch in each of the stitches that's just one single stitch throughout the round so this makes 40 stitches in your seventh row Now that 7th row is completed, now from 8th row remove the stitch marker, make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back. Now make 3 single stitches, we have already done one, that's the second one, third and the fourth single stitch. Here is where we are going to change the color. So after drawing the yarn for fourth single stitch, complete it with a white color. This white portions makes the eyes part of the cat. Attach it as shown on the top of the single stitch. Now continue to make next four single stitches in white color. That's the first single stitch with white, second, third and now the fourth one. Stop it here, leave the white color and take the green from behind and complete this fourth single stitch with green color. This makes the first eye, now continue to make next four single stitches in another green two three and four the same technique stop it here take the white color and close it with white now for the second eye make the next four stitches in white that's the first one second third and the fourth one completing with a green now make next four stitches in green color so basically the 40 stitches in the eighth row are divided into 20 each and in the first 20 it is separated as four stitches of each that's four white four green alternatively so total the first part of the cat we have 20 stitches and the back part of remaining 20 will be stitched in green color now make the next 20 stitches in green color until you reach the starting point
Now we are making the last single stitch for the 8th row. Now going on to the 9th row. Remove the stitch marker and make one single stitch. Mark the beginning of the 9th row. Just like the 8th row, make another 3 single stitches. That's the total of 4. That's the 4th one. Stop it here. Get the white thread. Trim this white thread. And then, just be careful. You leave a minimum of 2 inches tail. Now take this white thread and close this 4th stitch now make the next four stitches in white color just watch carefully that's the first single stitch second one third and the fourth one now Stop this white color, grab the green one and close that fourth single stitch with the green color. Tighten it up and now make the next four stitches in green color. That's again the first one, second, third and fourth one. Now stop it here. Take the white thread and continue making the next four single stitches in white color. That's the first one, two, three, and the fourth one. Stop it here. Again, take the green thread, change the color. And next make the 24 stitches in green color this is how it looks from behind just tuck in all the ends inside you don't need to weave in the ends now make the remaining 24 stitches in green color until you reach the starting point This is how the eyes part looks like. It's not mandatory to change the color. If you are okay with the same green color, you can continue with the same pattern without changing any color. Now make the last single stitch and this completes your row. You should have 40 stitches. Now let's start making 10th row for this Make one single stitch and second one. Stop there. Just mark the beginning of the tenth row and stop it here. Take the white thread and attach it as shown. So the first two stitches will be in green and next 19 stitches will be in white following the pattern of four single stitches that's the first four single stitch two in green and two in white now we have to make an increase that is two single stitches into the same stitch so the pattern will be four single stitches and one increase watch carefully that's one two three and four now make an increase that is two single stitches into the same stitch so here is an increase now continue the next one one two three four now make an increase now watch carefully here we are going to change the color again so further one 
two and for the third single stitch change the color to green see you can check the total of 19 stitches in white color trim the green thread from the beginning place and attach it here it's a tr little tricky one do it carefully attach it here We have already done 3 single stitches in white so now make the 4th single stitch in green and according to the pattern you should make an increase. So here is that increase. Now make 4 single stitches that's 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one now make an increase now continue this pattern of four single stitches and increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point now we have reached the last stitch here we are closing it with an increase so total we will have 48 stitches by the end of the row 10 now let's start the 11th row trim this white thread and get ready for the 11th row remove this stitch marker make two single stitches that's the first one you can put the marker at the beginning of the 11th row make the second stitch in green now stop it here and change the color to white now continue to make one single stitch in each of the next stitches make 19 single stitches in white color the white portion from row 10 to 13 gives you the cheeks part of the scat just make one single stitch in each of the next 19 stitches so here we have come to an end so that's the last stitch so stop it here take the green color yarn trim it from the first place and attach here and while trimming leave the 2 inch tail now attach it here and now continue to make the next 27 single stitches that is one single stitch in each of the next stitches until you reach the starting point after making 11 rows this is how the cat head looks like now make the last stitch in the 11th row this gives you a total of 48 stitches in your row 11 remove the stitch marker make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back to mark the beginning of the 12th row and for the row 12 it's just same like the 11th row making one single stitch in each of the next stitches but with a color change just follow the tutorial so the first two stitches will be in green color next change the color to white while changing the color please be careful with the tail ends don't trim them too short and tighten them so that the amigurumi pattern looks closed now make the next 19 single stitches in white color that's one single stitch in each of the next 19 stitches now making the last stitch that's the 19th stitch stop it here now take the green thread and attach it here now continue to make the remaining 27 
single stitches in green color that is the one single stitch in each of the next single stitches until you reach the starting point. Now make the last single stitch in the 12th row. This gives you a total of 48 stitches in your row 12. Now let's start making 13th row. Make one single stitch and put the marker back in place. Now make the second stitch. Now the third one also in green but finishing with a white color so now we have already done three single stitches in your row 13 now make the fourth single stitch in white color so four stitches were done in row 13 first three in green and then one in white now make invisible decrease that is insert the hook into the front loops of next two stitches and make a single stitch that is invisible decrease so now make four single stitches that's the third one and now the fourth one now make an invisible decrease again make four single stitches in white so for this row we have first 3 stitches in green and then make next 17 stitches in white color including those invisible decreases and now just check carefully after the decrease we have 2 stitches the second stitch should be completed with green color so this gives that curved texture when completed tighten it carefully so already two stitches were done now make the third one and the fourth one so after four stitches we have an invisible decrease now continue this pattern one two three four single stitches followed by one invisible decrease continue this pattern of four single stitches and decrease until you reach the starting point now make the last decrease in row 13 and by the end of the row you should have 40 stitches now let's start making the 14th row for this remove the stitch marker make one single stitch now place the stitch marker at the beginning of row 14 now make another two single stitches that's the total of three single stitches now make a decrease invisible decrease next to make one two and three single stitch followed by an invisible decrease continue this pattern of three single stitches followed by one invisible decrease throughout the row until you reach the starting point now we have reached the last decrease after making this we should have 32 stitches in your 14th row now remove the stitch marker and let's start making row 15 make one single stitch and mark the beginning of the 15th row now make the second single stitch and then make one invisible decrease next make two single stitches then one invisible decrease 
continue this pattern of two single stitches and invisible decrease eight times that is until you reach the starting point now make the last decrease and this completes your row 15 by the end of this row you should have 24 stitches now let's start row 16 make one single stitch and put back the marker now make one invisible decrease next make one single stitch now another invisible decrease again one single stitch and an invisible decrease continue this pattern of single stitch and invisible decrease until you reach the starting point that is a total of 8 times now make the last decrease and this completes your row number 16 and by the end of this row you should have 16 stitches this completes the head part now let's stuff the head and then continue making the body part Take the fiber fill and stuff the head of the cat. Do not over stuff the toy, it will look odd, so just add the sufficient amount to it. After putting the sufficient stuff, now let's start making the body part. That's row 17. So remove that stitch marker. Now make one single stitch in each of the next stitches. Repeat this pattern for row 17 and row 18 as well. Make one single stitch in each of the next stitches. Put the stitch marker back in place and one single stitch so continue making this until the next two rows that is row 17 and row 18 now make the last single stitch in row 18 so for row 17 and row 18 we will have 16 stitches each now remove the stitch marker and let's start making row 19. So make one single stitch and put the stitch marker to mark the beginning of 19th row. Now make one increase in the next stitch. Again make one single stitch and one increase. Follow this pattern of one single stitch and one increase total of 8 times that is until you reach the starting place. Now make the last increase for row 19 you will have a total of 24 stitches now. Now row 19 is completed so remove the stitch marker now let's start making row 20 one single stitch and put the stitch marker back in place so for row 20 and 21 make one single stitch in each of the next stitches now make the last single stitch for row number 21 so in row 20 and 21 you will have 24 stitches each 
now for row 22 make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back now make the second single stitch in the next stitch now make an increase next make two single stitches followed by an increase so continue this pattern of two single stitches and increase until you reach the starting place so we have the last stitch remaining make an increase here this completes your row number 22 you should have 32 stitches by the end of 22nd row now for row 23 and 24 make one single stitch in each of the next stitches that means you will have 32 stitches at the end of 23rd row and 32 stitches at the end of 24th row Now we are going to make the last stitch in row 24 so this completes 24 rows together now remove the stitch marker make one single stitch to mark the beginning of row 25 put the stitch marker back now make the next two single stitches that makes a total of three single stitches in 25th row now make one increase again one two and three and then make one increase so continue this pattern of three single stitches and one increase up to eight times that means until you reach the starting place so now we have come to an end make the last increase and this completes your row number 25 you should have 40 stitches by now now for row 26 and 27 make one single stitch in each of the next stitches just one single stitch without any increase this means each row will have 40 stitches each Now 27 rows are completed. Now let's start making row number 28. So remove the stitch marker. Make one single stitch and mark the beginning of 28th row. Now make the next three single stitches. Already we have made one. That's the second one. Third and the fourth one so after making four single stitches now make one increase again make the next four single stitches that's one two three and four now make an increase continue this pattern of four single stitches and increase until you reach the starting place now we have come to the last stitch make an increase here so this completes the 28th row you should have 48 stitches by now now for row 29 and 30 we need to make one single stitch in each of the next stitches don't forget the stitch marker so for row 29 and 30 you will have 48 stitches in each row So after making two rows of 48 stitches we are done with row 30 now remove the stitch marker and let's start making 31st row 
make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back now make four single stitches we have already done one so total of five single stitches that's the second one third fourth and the fifth one now make an increase again make five single stitches that's the second one third fourth and the fifth one now make an increase so continue this pattern of five single stitches and one increase until you reach the starting place now make the last increase in row 31 so with this you will have total of 56 stitches in your row number 31 now remove the stitch marker and let's start making row number 32 and for row 32 and 33 we have to make one single stitch in each of the next stitches which means for row 32 we will have 56 stitches and for row 33 we will have another 56 stitches now make the last stitch in row 33 so you will have 56 stitches with this one now let's start making row number 34 make one single stitch and put the stitch marker next make four single stitches this makes the total of five so that's the second one third fourth and the fifth one now make an invisible decrease Draw the yarn through the front loops of the next two stitches and make a single stitch. Continue making single stitches. That's second one, third, fourth and the fifth one. Now make another invisible decrease. Continue this pattern of five single stitches and one decrease until you reach the starting point. Now make the last invisible decrease and this completes your row number 34. You should have 48 stitches by now. Take this stitch marker out and let's start making row number 35. Make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back. That's one single stitch. So now making the second one, third and the fourth one. Now make an invisible decrease. Again make the first one, second, third and fourth. Now make another invisible decrease. Continue this pattern of four single stitches followed by one invisible decrease until you reach the starting place now we have come to an end so make the last decrease this completes your 35th row you should have 40 stitches by now take out the stitch marker and make one single stitch this is the beginning of 36th row put the stitch marker back that's one single stitch already done this is the second one and then the third one now after three single stitches make one invisible decrease again three single stitches that's the second one third and now make one invisible decrease continue this pattern of three single stitches and one decrease until you reach the starting point 
this completes your row number 36 and you should have 32 stitches by the end of the row take out the stitch marker and let's start making row 37 make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back now make the second single stitch now make one invisible decrease next make two single stitches in next two stitches then make one invisible decrease continue this pattern of two single stitches and one decrease until you reach the starting point now we have come to an end make the last invisible decrease and this completes your row 37 you should have 24 stitches by now remove the stitch marker and let's start making 38th row make one single stitch and put the stitch marker back in place now make one invisible decrease then make one single stitch and one invisible decrease next make one single stitch followed by another decrease continue this pattern of one single stitch and one invisible decrease until you reach the starting point Now make the last invisible decrease and this completes your 38th row. You should have 18 stitches in this row. Let's stop it here and now stuff the toy with a fiber fill. Just add a little stuff to the toy to just to hold the shape. We shall get back to it later. Now let's start making ears of the doll. So let's begin by taking with a green color. Make a magic ring. Draw the yarn. And make chain 1. Now make one single stitch into the loop. Make one half DC. Now make one double stitch. Make one triple stitch. Then make a double stitch. Now make one HDC. One single stitch. Chain one. And slip stitch into the loop. Fasten off and leave the long tail so that you can attach it to the head of the doll so tighten it and close the magic ring you should make two such pieces it will hold the shape once the magic ring is closed Put them aside and now let's start making the arms and legs. Again with a green color, begin with a magic ring. Now chain one and make six single stitches into the center. That's one. 2, 3, 4, 5 and the 6th one. Close the magic ring and this completes your first row. 
now moving on to the second row make one single stitch in the first stitch and put the marker so this indicates the beginning of the second row now make another in single stitch into the same stitch this means two single stitches in one stitch continue making an increase in each of the next five stitches so at the end of the second row you will have 12 stitches so after making the 12 stitches our second row is completed so remove the stitch marker and let's start making third row for third row make one single stitch in each of the next stitches so by the end of the third row you will have 12 single stitches So now let's start making 4th row, remove the stitch marker and make one invisible decrease. Now make 4 single stitches, you can put the stitch marker back. Now make 4 single stitch, that's 1, 2, 3 and the 4th one. Now make another decrease. We are going to decrease only 2 times in 4th row. Now make 4 single stitches it's one two three and the fourth one this completes your fourth row and you will have 10 stitches now remove the stitch marker and let's start making fifth row make one invisible decrease Put the stitch marker back in place. Now make three single stitches. That's one, two, and the third one. Now make another invisible decrease. Then make three single stitches. This completes your fifth row and you should have eight stitches in your fifth row. Now continue to make row six. For this remove the stitch marker and begin with an invisible decrease it becomes little bit challenging when you are getting closer so just focus and do not miss any stitch now begin with an invisible decrease now put the stitch marker back in place now make two single stitches That's the first one and then make the second one. Now make another invisible decrease. And finally make the last two single stitches.
This completes your 6th row and you will have 6 stitches by the end of this row. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the last row. You don't need to put the stitch marker back. Now make one invisible decrease. Next make one single stitch. Then make another invisible decrease. Finally make one last single stitch. Just be careful. Now fasten off and leave the long tail. And by the end of the seventh row, you will have four stitches. You should leave some long tail so that it will be easier for us to attach it to the body. You don't need to add any stuffing to it. Make four pieces of such. Put them aside and now let's start making the tail of our doll. Again take the green color yarn and begin with the magic ring. Draw the yarn through the loop. Make chain 1. And now make 6 single stitches into the loop. That's the first stitch. Second, third, four, five, and six. So this completes the first row. Now close the magic ring and now add one single stitch in each of the next stitches and continue this up to eight to nine rows. So after making 8 rows, fasten off and leave a long tail so that it will be easier for us to attach it to the body. Now take a fiber fill and add it to the tail. You can add a very little fiber stuff just to hold the shape and uh, stiffness. Now it's time to assemble all the parts to the body. So take all the things like arms, legs, tail, ears and all and attach it as shown. Now attach all the body parts with the help of a yarn needle. Secure the tail with a knot and tuck in the remaining thread into the stuffing. Now add arms around the rows 19 and 20. Before you make a knot, just place them on the doll and check for the position. And then make a knot. Now add the legs at rows 34 and 35 and you can secure them with the tail ends. This is how the cat doll looks after assembling all the parts. Stuff the toy with the fiber fill. And now let's start making the last row to close the body. Now let's start making row number 39. 
so take out the stitch marker now make one invisible decrease that's the first stitch now make another invisible decrease in the next two stitches continue making this invisible decrease for eight times so by the end of the 39th row you will have eight stitches So once it's done, trim the thread and fasten off. Now close the project with the help of a yarn needle. Now let's attach the ears to the head of the doll. Place them around the rows of 4 and 5 on the top of the head. Just place them correctly and weave in the ends. Once ears were attached and the ends were secured, the doll cat is almost done. Now let's add a little details to finish the cat like the eyes and the mouth. Add the eyes at row 9. I am using kundans. If you have safety eyes you can put them or if you are giving it to a kids and you have a doubt of choking you can always embroider the eyes as well with the help of a cotton thread and a needle. Now with the help of a needle and a black color cotton thread Embroider the mouth around the rows 11 and 12. Adjust the threads and trim the excess thread. I am just securing the threads with the help of a fabric glue just to make sure they stay in place now you can add a little hair on the top of the cat around the rows 1 and 5 You can just leave the doll like this or if you want you can add a small little ball into the hands of the doll. You can add it with the help of a fabric glue or attach it with the help of a needle and thread. And I suggest you to use a needle and thread as it will be staying stronger and longer. And that's it. A cute looking amigurume cat is ready. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do try it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.